Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, April 9th, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new studios, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar, and as you can see, we continue to drop further with the US dollar, Great British Pound and the US dollar. Even though that the US dollar basically fell off the cliff today in the US dollar index, we still see this currency pair drop towards the 100 moving average. And at the moment, we are trading underneath the 100 moving average. If you look at other technical indicators, for example, the MACD, still in bearish territory, crossing the signal line, indicating bearish momentum. The RSI is flat, the CCI is heading to negative territory, and the stochastic is very bearish as indeed. So we may head, head towards the very bottom of the bullish band here at 1368. If you, for example, look at the cloud, we can see that we are trading significantly underneath the, uh, the cloud and we are basically entering a bearish trend at this current stage. We have a crossing of the 9 moving average and the 26 moving average and that is a, it's a, basically a selling sign. So it is not looking really good for the US dollar, uh, the Great British Pound and the US dollar. However, if we rally from here, we'll most likely find resistance here at the 20 exponential or the 50 moving average right here at 1388. So let's look at the US dollar Japanese yen and this basically fell apart today. So we broke well below the 20 exponential moving average, headed towards the 40 exponential moving average and it doesn't look really at this current stage that we are, um, it's basically slowing down. So MACD is still very bearish, the RSI is bearish, CCI is bearish and so is the stochastic. You can see it here in the bullish band, we basically broke the middle of the bullish band, which was previous um, support. We broke that and now we could basically head towards the bottom of the bullish band around 108, 278. If we rally from here, then of course, we will most likely go and head back towards these previous highs. But it's looking fairly bearish for this currency pair. So let's look at the euro, euro US dollar. We continue to rally here. We had uh, 300 moving average offered significant uh, support at the moment we are crossing the 40 exponential heading towards the 200 and the, uh, and the 50 moving average will most likely run into major resistance around 1197 which is just above the 50 moving average so it may pierce above the 50 and then uh, break down again as we will run into major resistance here at the uh, top of the bullish band we are the other technical indicators are very bullish at this point. MACD is still in negative territory, but we are way above the signal line. So we have been in a massive bullish run. There's still quite a lot of obstacles in the way before before this basically recovers um, to trade, uh, basically trend above the 50 moving average as we basically saw here and the 20 and the 40. So we're still, we basically fell towards the 300. And since then we have basically rallied question is how far we basically can rally with this currency pair so let's look at the Aussie dollar US dollar and as you can see we have rallied a bit we are just at the 40 exponential trading at 0 0.6076 we are also right here in the middle of the bullish band if we break above here then we could head towards the top of the bullish band which is roughly one and a half percent to the upside and then we'll basically run into these previous highs technical indicators they are all turning around there we are still in negative territory in the macd uh, but we are above the signal line the cci is also bullish the C and the stochastic is also bullish so uh, it is basically a uh, bullish momentum at this current stage but there are Quite a lot of moving averages just above that will offer quite a lot of resistance if we break down from here then the 150 moving average at 100 uh, 0.75 is most likely going to be major support as it was back here as well so uh, let's look at the us dollar canadian dollar so we just see more of the same we can see that the uh, oil for example was really choppy today it was um going back uh, back and forward one uh, one percent to give or take uh, so that had an influence for example there is a negative correlation here uh, and uh, then we also have the US dollar that basically just fell apart and that also um, makes this a, a pull back so 
at the current stage, we are just seeing more of the same. So we have been rallying up towards the 50 moving average and just above here, for example, and then break down, same here and break down. And it looks like we are about to see the same thing here. Uh, we have rallied up towards the 50. We're just holding on here. We're not rallying above. And we may see this drop back towards the very low zero 12 and 37. Technically, yes, they are all turning around to the downside. Break uh, below this uh, middle of the bullish band could uh, basically pull this to the very bottom here, which is roughly a fall of uh, 0 0.82. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.